too many bug bites. Farming can be frustrating. I'm crying because I got smoke in my eye. Look, why don't I just do it and then I'll show you. Today I'm working in the garden. Actually, it's late in the day. Did a lot more today, but I want to show you the garden. I didn't show you that I actually tilled it, but I bored a neighbor's tiller, tilled it a little bit, but the grass was so deep, I'm having to hoe it as well. So I'm out here in what used to be my grandmother's garden and uh, trying, trying to get some work done so we can plant stuff because it's so hot, hence the no shirt and whew, it's time to plant. So I got to get stuff ready. wondering why I'm being so aggressive with the ground and it's because the grass there was like six inches deep it was super grown over so I'm trying to uh, get all the grass roots out and then sieve off the good which I'm gonna get right now sieve off the good eh, dirt get the grass out and then use the dirt back on top of the garden machine to do this. Yeah, I know. I can't afford a machine to do this right now. Ho, 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 lay! I'm about to go insane. <sighs> okay, we're bleeding like crazy. Hannah's quit on me. I got all the rose plows so that Nicole can plant in the morning. I think I'm gonna stake the rows and then I'm gonna be done for today because I'm getting eaten alive. Mm, so many bug bites, oh my goodness. Woo! Oh, this camera's dying too, okay. Bye. Son of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. Unfortunately, all I had the next day was my GoPro, but we did manage to get most of the garden planted. Oh, down a red dirt path, covering their tracks, strangers in the light of day. Can't fight, it can't stop, and if they get caught, it's gonna be hell to pay. So baby, meet me down by the road, no quiver with the cool dark water meets the full moonlight. If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together And all by stop and love tonight Chickens are such curious animals, they like to follow me everywhere There it is It's on here and this one. Old battery out. New battery in. Jaws are in. But, okay. Something. Wants to. So I'm feeling it probably. Oh, it definitely needs oil. She's trying. Should be, should be good, so. I don't know, here, let's tinker with it. I'll tinker with it and see what I can find out. I'm no mechanic by any sort of imagination, but I uh, should be able to figure that out. It is not turning over, so. 
should spin. Usually when you hit the starter, it goes vroom, 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 vroom. But it's not doing that. And why? Why, why, why? You're not supposed to be in the house. Get, get, come on, let's go. Out, 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 out. So I grabbed the uh, voltmeter. I'm gonna see if it's actually reading 12 volts. If it's not reading 12 volts and the battery's not fully charged, which I'd be surprised coming straight from the store, but I don't think that's the issue, but it's a possibility that it doesn't have enough power to turn over the engine. Reading about 12 and a half volts there, roughly. So it should be charged, so... Although the battery seemed charged, maybe it didn't have enough amps or something to turn over the engine. So I decided to go get the Wheeler, which has a stronger battery, to see if I could boost it. Okay, so as far as I can tell, it's not a battery issue. Something seems to be seized and I don't know what that means and I'm not really sure how to fix it. Oh, it's giving me a tick. So the tick would be the solenoid trying to make contact but then there's no power going to the engine. And from the solenoid to the starter, right there. All right, so that really didn't want to cooperate. I'm not sure what's wrong. I'm gonna try the other um, mower I got up the uh, up the hill. We'll see if I can make that one work. <laughs> So out of frustration, uh, because I was frustrated, I stopped filming. And then I went inside, had something to eat, thought that might help, and then came back outside to see if I can't get my push mower to work. Which, it wasn't working. I was using my starter fluid, or starter spray, whatever, quick start, and then wasn't starting, wasn't starting, wasn't starting. And then, took the carb apart, cleaned it a little bit. Here, let's, oh, let's jump in. For those of you who aren't necessarily mechanically inclined, Let's, uh, let's talk about small engines. Now, I am by no means a small engine expert at all. Um, I just like to tinker with things and see if I can fix them myself because I hate spending money on uh, fixing stuff if I can do it myself. So, what this is missing actually, um, right here, you can see the air intake. This is my air filter, which isn't too bad. It's not too dirty. Um, but I took the air box off, so a couple of bolts right here that I took off. And then there is your air intake. So this is an automatic uh, choke. So basically you want more fuel, you want a more rich uh, fuel to start the engine. And then as it tapers off, you want less fuel, more air. So this is an automatic choke that as it warms up, which you might be able to see, I'll put you a little closer. As it warms up, that goes from choked. So from closed to open and then more air gets in there. So I was tinkering with that. I'm actually missing a carb gasket a couple of different gaskets and o-rings and stuff but it works now i just got it started so let me um let me show you kind of what you got to do or what i was doing to get it started um, but spray it into the carb choke the carb hold down the thing on the handle and pull oh. Okay, it's back together. I'm going to, I'm just gonna real quick lower this up. I had it up as high as it would go. So I'm gonna lower it down a little bit and then go into the side field, probably over by the garden too. So we'll just, uh, we'll have some fun. Maybe I'll strap on a GoPro and do some walking about. Now, unfortunately the GoPro was dead. So here is some drone footage.
Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, I'd love for you to like, subscribe, and even hit the little bell icon so you can get notified when I upload a new video.